nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 4, Episode 6 of Supernatural, entitled Yellow Fever. Got some jaundice, or something else. That may not be good. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Last episode was Monster Movie. I thought it was going to just be weird. It was really enjoyable. I liked it a lot. Uh, it was better paced than the Ghost Facers episode. It was more interesting for me, at least. So now hopefully we get back into uh, our actual thing. That screen wasn't supposed to be up yet. It takes away the saying that Jerry's going to do his best work behind the scenes. This whole thing's a mess. I couldn't even get my taskbar to disappear a second ago. So hopefully we'll get into a couple things with this and get back on track with the storytelling. And uh, that's really all I have to say at the moment. So I think we're just going to hop into it. Yeah? Yeah, it's just this whole thing's been weird trying to get this running. All right, Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. There he is. Boop. Oh, let's watch. What a disaster. He's still in his FBI outfit from the last episode. Could be a coincidence. Almost ties different. Run from a hellhound? Run! It'll kill you! Not homeless Hank. Oh, little puppers. Supernatural. I couldn't get the first super out. Uh, you think Dean's scared of dogs now because of the hellhound thing? And the fact that one killed him that one time? You never know. Hey, also, 24 hours earlier. Agent you guys Tyler, haven't... Agent Perry, you meet Frank O'Brien. He died of a heart attack, right? Frankie! Uh, hold on. Frank O'Brien. If you guys haven't had this new Mountain Dew Summer Freeze flavor, even the Zero Sugar one's great. Just cutting right into my brother's flesh. Hey, buddy. Lord Roman. Oh, good. Because these suckers can get pretty ripe. Hey, uh, my man said ripe. You know, Sam, Sam, I am don't do good with the look at him. About the. Is that from a wedding ring? Oh. Better yes. than was married. Ain't my department. I appreciate this guy. It's not his department. He ain't worried about it. Oh. When you drop dead, you actually tend to drop. You just ripped his shit healthy. out. Hold it a second, would you? Hey, here, hold that man's heart. Oh, that would freak me the fuck out. That's the one thing I don't like. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Spleen juice. Not the spleen. Breaking open a rib cage and then a human heart are the only two things that really kind of get me. Look at this young chipper. Still wet behind the ears, young lad. Who are they? Federal agents. I, uh... And you kept them waiting? You, you said not to disturb. Come on back, fellas. <laughs> he was just doing his job. He's young. Shoes on. What? I don't like the looks of those teenagers down there. Let's walk this way. What? Don't what? Tyler and Perry. It's like Aerosmith. Yeah, small world. Um, so the last time you saw Frank O'Brien. <laughs> Monday. Not them actually using Stephen Tyler waiting. and Perry. Good for them. Down, but he just closed the curtains. And Tyler Perry. Did you speak to him recently? Did he seem different? Why is I'm Dean scared. so scared? Oh, totally. Yeah. He was freaking out. Dean freaking out about them teenagers. Look at him. Yup, getting jittery. He's probably got a pet crocodile. You know, uh, Bree, you gotta look out for. She smells fear. <gasps> nope. Nope. That's like when them pythons shake the snake Robert head. Damien. Oh, that's a big mama. She was thick. Oh, she had a whole cavy bear in her belly. Hey, any luck at the county clerk's office? I'm a 
not sure that colored luck. Frank's wife, Jessie, was a manic depressive. She went off her meds back in 88 and vanished. I couldn't see anything in the article to be able to read. Later, Looked very blurry. Town's over, strung up in her motel room. Suicide. Am I haunted? Am I haunted? <laughs> Not enough. This brother went to hell and yeah, done had to come right. back. But yeah. Donuts. Get this. Frank was in Malibu Literally. over the weekend. Softball tournament. Which is where he must have infected the other two victims. Oh, no. Scratching and cocks? digging and... Oh, not the corn game, Cox. And the corn jerkers? So ghost infected Frank. He passed it on to the other guys. And I got it from his corpse? Right. So now what? I have 48 hours before I go insane and my heart stops? Are More the like corn jerking the game, Cox? So, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I, you? I mean, you got hit with the spleen juice. It did, yeah. right in his eye. Um, See, Bobby and I have a theory about that, too. It turns out all three victims shared a certain uh, personality type. Frank was a bully. The other two victims, one was a vice principal. The other was a bouncer. Okay. Kind of like jock Basically, dicks. Basically, they were all dicks. Yeah. So you're saying I'm a dick? No, no, no. Winner. Just that. I, wait. Our room's on the fourth floor. It's, it's high. See if I can move us down to the first. Thanks. Sure. We stayed in Florida once. We had the highest. I think it was like 17 floors. We're on the top floor. Far room. Oh, it was beautiful. I don't think it was that high. It could have been 12, but regardless, we were up there. Maybe 20? 20, 27? 24? All those numbers sound right. Afflictions of ghost. Those who suffer from ghost sickness are affected by hallucinations, accompanied by fever and delirium, and eventually a horrible death. Ghost sickness first appears as nightmares, and at first, subtle signs of cowardice. Soon after the initial symptoms, scrapes and scratches appear on the person for no apparent reason. Another one of the symptoms of ghost sickness is the feeling of... What is that word? Queasiness. Yeah, there we go. Degenerating as vomit. Is that the next word? Severe dehydration and unstoppable vomiting will eventually lead to the demise of the victim. Some folk... Some folklore warn that ghost sickness can be... caught from either the dead or... sight of the corpse... Okay. As their possessions. That's kind of wild. Contact with the dead is reduced to a minimum. The time of... Is reduced to a minimum of time in the cultures that have witnessed this phenomenon. Upon the death of a person inflicted of ghost sickness, their belongings were then burned and the family moved their house to the new site. The relatives never went near the grave, and to mention the name of the dead was strictly forbidden. It is said to be contagious in many different lores. The many manifestations of ghost sickness have appeared uh, in different places throughout time. In Europe, the infliction has been rarely seen depicted in art. These references are rare, as they are carefully hidden by the authorities in fear of panicking the population. It's blurry in some spots and making me feel illiterate. Uh, ghost sickness is it's like summoning sickness you play a card you can't really use it that turn I've been there that's pretty cool a horrible death Dean Arino it's coming your way Scary. I was swallowing my own spit 
And as soon as I saw the cat and saw him scream, I almost audibly laughed, which would have made me choke to death. That motherfucker just got scared of a poor little kitty cat. He is spooked out of his own skin. <laughs> I still have to, like, I want to cough now. Like, mid swallow the fucking. Oh. Uh. Move your garland. Mind if I take this? Sheriff Sig. Oh, boy, Sig. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. You too, I guess. Thanks, deputy. <laughs> Come on. Who was that? It's uh, those FBI guys. What do they want? A file, Luther Garland. Sheriff? Are you scratching your skin with the aluminum foil? Who would pretend to be an FBI agent, huh? That's just nutty. I wouldn't even know what a real or a fake badge looked like. So even if I did look at it, I would just do it to put the pressure on them. According to this, Game to spill his own beans like he almost just kind of did. Physical trauma. <laughs> you don't agree? No, I don't. Well, then what would you call it? Oh, and he's got a picture of his girl up there. Oh, imagine seeing that shit. Ah. Oh. Did you throw him into a wood chipper? Oh, you didn't put a chain. Oh, man. He's just a big guy. He don't know any better, dog. Oh. They found Luther with a chain wrapped around his neck. Ah, damn. He was dragged up and down the stretch outside that plant till he was past it. O'Brien was never arrested. I listen to the same five albums over and over and over again, and I, and, and, and I sing along. I'm annoying. I know that. And you, you're gassy. <gasps> you eat have a burrito when you get toxic. I mean, you know what? Sam, you're stinky. You can forget it. Bro, Dean, where are you going? Stay away from me, Sam, okay? Because I am done with it. I'm done with the monsters and the, and, 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 and the, the hellhounds and the ghost sickness and the damn apocalypse. I'm out. I'm done. Quit. This man is spooked to his core at the moment how do you even handle that if you're sam you just kind of deal with it i guess look at him when that little dog gonna start chasing him oh here it comes <laughs> you're him coming up ma hey little girl bark bark i looked everywhere for you dean I'm glad they didn't the just reshow it. He got chased by Hellhound. I wish Sam would know what it is. He again would never let him let it go. What do we do now? Yeah, I got less than four hours on the clock. Truth is. Oh, he ain't actually. He ain't actually saying any of that stuff. No. You get out of my brother, you evil son of a bitch! No one's possessing me, Dean. This is what I'm going to become. This is what I want to become. Same gonna. There's nothing you can do about it. Hey, 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 Dean! Hey, Dean! 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 Is that the end game for Sam to become Azazel? Or just another yellow eyes? I don't think so. I don't think that's the end game. It could be though. Is that Bob? Hey Sam. Hey Bobby. What's up, Bobby Brother? So you're sick, you're sick, all right. Just just like me, okay? You gotta relax. Backhand. Frank O'Brien was my friend. So he made a mistake. So I didn't bust him. So what? We keep running the cops that got some shady shit going on. Me down over that? Man, it should have been brought down over. Oh. I ain't never seen anybody get a gun smacked away from him like that. Ugh. Y'all just gonna get each other more sick, breathing each other's mouths like that. Sees him with black eyes. Like a demon.
this is part of his hallucination, or is it bringing back some of his abilities to be able to see people as demons? Just rip his drawings in hey, half. Luther! Oh, you dirty dog. Hi, Dean. <gasps> they got, they got that same creepy ass little girl. I enjoy that. Lilith. Oh, I missed you so much. It's time to go back now. Yeah, I don't think so, you little shit. You, you are not real. Back then. Silly goose. You know why. What silly rabbit? Listen to your heart. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> not those new tricks that are all the same round thing with different colors. I mean, the one that had the shapes. You know what I'm saying? Both of you just fighting for your life at the moment, huh? Oh, Luther, buddy. Oh. <laughs> just dragging his ass. Oh, look, I mean, that sucks. You had to put that same fear back in that boy's body after what he went through back in the day. That's... I'm fine. <laughs> oh, you want to go hunt? I'll hunt. I'll kill anything. Aww. He's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get out of here. <laughs> you boys drive safe. All right, Bobby. You too, Bobby. See you soon, hopefully, brother. Hey, thanks. So, uh, so what did you see? Near the end, I mean. Well, besides a cop beating my ass? Seriously. Howler monkeys. A whole room full of them. These things creep the hell out of me. Right. No, um, just the usual stuff, Sammy. Nothing I couldn't handle. Is that a is that a uh, fruition that Sammy will end up being the yellow eyed demon? Is that the yellow fever? Right. So this this sickness and infection, Bruce Aldean is infected with an illness that starts as anxiety but moves to full blown terror and stops the heart. Is that the future? Sam taking over his yellow eyes or becoming one of those high-ranking demons, becoming an Azazel-esque individual. To lead an army or to take over. Or like I said previously, like Dean's on the side of the angels right now with Castiel. And Sam is kind of, you know, he's been brought back from the dead, but Sam could always supposed to be meant, according to Yellow Eyes, to lead that army. Is that going to be a divisive split thing? A heaven and hell type deal? Have to wait and see. Him seeing Sam with that flash of Yellow Eyes and going back to the finale of him seeing him when he could see demons and seeing Sam's face all contorted leads to much darker things, I feel like. I'm happy to see Bobby always. Bobby showing up, saving the boy's ass. Etching in some magic spell words and spell words, whatever the hell, into a chain. I hate that Luther had to go out the same way he did previously again. I really do hate that. I hate to see him. Uh, he has to relive. I mean, it scared him, obviously. To, to go out the same way. Just kind of crappy. It was cool to see the little girl again that plays Lilith. That played Lilith with that family. That's the last time Dean saw her. So that's what he's envisioning. 
and her trying to spook him to death. Both of the kids have died. Dean's been to hell. We don't really know. I don't think we know what happened with Sam when he died, where he went, if he remembers anything. I can't remember. Uh, real quick, too, we'll mention this uh, at, at the end of this episode here. Going back from episode five, I'm just now thinking about it. I meant to say at the beginning of the episode. I just got done watching the other episode, like, I don't know, right before this one. And I, I said I was going to look up to see if that was the guy from Modern Family, the dude that played Dracula in the last episode. That was Father Kieran from the originals and uh, Henry Tate from The 100, Malia's dad and also uh the security guard played the detention teacher in the 2017 power rangers movie so i thought those were pretty cool things i'm sure you guys will be putting in the comment section to remind me of but uh yeah yeah those are all really good things i enjoyed i like this episode i don't think it's as good as some of the other episodes that we've had but i definitely did uh i liked it so the sheriff's name was al okay yeah it was al Britton. So all those people that played on the, uh, what was it, the corn jackers, the corn jackoffs, and the game cockaroos, they were all just dicks, and they all get infected. And Dean leads towards kind of being a dick, so he also gets infected. Terrible. And I feel bad for Big Luther, man. He just, just trying to live his best life. It's sad at the end of the day. Not too much to say about this episode as well, so we'll go ahead and cut it. Uh, season 4, Episode 6, entitled Yellow Fever. We'll see what everything is in store and what it means for uh, Sam moving forward with Dean seeing those yellow eyes and all those things as well. But Season 4, Episode 7 is entitled It's the Great Pumpkin. Sam Winchester. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.